This video is for Kirktown. This is their Patreon request. We're checking out some music from Cowboy Bebop. This is Bad Dog, No Biscuits. I'm excited. Let's go. That is what an interesting packed opening. Buddha, Buddha, da. Great melodic call. Like nice little motif there. But underneath is complete chaos. It's like radio squelch. It's more than squelch. It's like, I don't know, squealing almost. It's the saxophone that's so intense. The guitar is doing some crazy stuff too. But it's so funny to have something so recognizable, almost like a James Bond sounding thing underneath so much noise. Uh, sorry, on top of so much noise. It's the forte piano and the horns that really woke me up in the beginning, though, right here. That got my attention immediately. Bah, pull away and then come back one more time. Almost on the waterfront, right? Sorry, that's it's not really, but just a little bit. Uh, interesting, just layers here. What uh, the trombones underneath that, and then it all just goes to chaos. We'll listen to this th the 27 seconds in context again. I just wanted to talk about how something so recognizable as that trumpet lick with so much chaos underneath. That's a cool. Uh, that's a cool sandwich of ingredients there. Here we go again. It's like a train that's on fire and it's just like the for that the horn hit is like it bursting through the gates and now we're going down the tracks. There's no it's not really an introduction. We're just we're just there. So where are we gonna go? We're only twenty two seconds in. Where are we gonna go from here? <laughs> Man, articulation is so nice. Can you hear all the hand percussion underneath? That's going nuts on that man. That's that's really good. Let's just go back like I don't know, like six or seven there. Just listen down to the percussion. Line. Almost klezmer like now suddenly we're like in a street chaotic noise marching band that dude I go to these type of festivals all the time it's always very interesting to see the groups are there that is such a uh, I mean it's not such a departure because the beginning was uh so kind of just out there but it almost felt like a fidelity departure though because like the the quality of sound definitely had a uh, transitional change there let's just go yeah that's the most replayed section I'm not I'm not surprised whatsoever let's go back and get that transition again very very interesting <laughs> Way more traditional now with the way almost big band sounding with the way the horn stuff's going on. Obviously, all the upbeat chick chick stuff in the guitar, not big band style because we're not we're not swinging whatsoever. It still has roots in what we did, but just saying the orchestration of the horn lines there in the arrangement. Back five. <laughs> I 
That was fun. Trumpet. This is like this is the kind of chaos that I like. This this is uh this is a lot of fun. Good trumpet playing there. But uh, you hear the berry sacks taking that up chromatically and it's kind of fly out of there. The other thing that's kind of cool, I'm going to go back 10 seconds, by the way. The other thing that's kind of fun is whether it's real or not or just uh, simulated is the the like live audience sound underneath that's kind of like there the whole time. Whether or not that's dubbed in or the band's having fun with the mics in the studio. It doesn't matter how it was uh, created. The effect is pretty fun because when you go to these kind of shows, it's way more fun to watch with a group of people that are not quiet that are way more like amped up everyone's like you know jumping around energetic it's just it's a good time i went back 10 seconds here we go reset their chromatic down uh so the trombones totally line up with the guitar that ascending sequence the berry gave it to us very quickly over a short amount of time and then the guitar and trombone uh kind of like the blue coat show that just came out with too much chromaticism in their trombone line but hey that's just my opinion and that's completely unrelated we can talk about that some other time but anyway point being that was pretty cool writing back five let's keep going That is the almost a metric focus on playing the solo there. Uh, the trombone is probably doing it on purpose. I just feel like the vocabulary is a little limited. In, uh, well, you know what, though? Actually, it fits the piece because the piece is loud and chaotic, so we're probably not going to get a bunch of uh, intricate lines for the solo. It's just like the focus is like loud, and the way I'm going to get your attention is staying loud, you know, if that makes sense. Everyone else playing pretty loud, too, so I guess I guess I take my I, I take it back. It's, it's articulate enough. Back five. <laughs> trombone solo the saxophones are playing their backgrounds it's fucking loud dude it's really competing with the trombone's uh presence but we're primarily uh, 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 we're just kind of kind of giving us that again i did say it. it's it's chaos that i like but emphasis on the chaos back five feels like another transition's coming here Okay, this is a fun section because the snare drum is like you went from playing they went from playing like their groove now their snare drum is lining up with the uh kind of a, a big chunk of notes that we have in uh the uh the hand drums the auxiliary percussion line go back 10 just listen down to the drums and auxiliary <laughs>
organized chaos and dissonance, man. That was just the sounds are just rubbing against each other the whole time. But that was pretty fun, though. So, again, that's just my opinion. And like we always say, I want to know your opinion. So let me know in the comments down below. Thank you. My name is Drumroll Tony. Make sure to catch me on live on Twitch. You can find a link for all the socials down in the video description below. Thank you so much for watching. YouTube thinks you should watch this video next. Please and thank you. Click the like button. Subscribe to the channel so you can catch the next upload. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you. Take it easy. Bye-bye.